Okay, so I figured out what I had to do somehow. I had to get to this piece of paper, which I got to. So anyways, yeah. There's a trial or tra trail of drool running down the desk. I was just collapsed over. Gotta wipe that up later. On the desk. Orientation info. Why is orientation too different? Oh, anyways. Orientation info. What a cheap looking pamphlet. Why is it handwritten? The new semester hasn't begun or has begun. Wait, scratch that. From here, this academy becomes a whole new world for you guys. But is this someone's idea of a prank? Well, we gotta move this thingy. We gotta get over here. Let's move this to the door. I said to the door. It's really weird using this like this. Yay, door. Maybe I should take a look around before I head out. Oh, god damn it. I have to look around more. Oh, shit. I, okay, so I already. Hold on. Do I need to do the board? I did that already. Do I need to do the board? Do I not do the board? Okay. Um. Do I gotta do like these metal things over here? This way, little guy. This way. This way, some more. This way, some more, little guy. Down. Down. There we go. What the heck? This is where you expect to see windows in a normal classroom, but here, what appears to be iron plates have been rigged to the walls. Check, I give a light knock. Thud, thud. Yep, iron plates, alright. Incredibly thick ones, no less. But rather than analyzing what they are, shouldn't I be asking why they're here? Hmm, looks at things, it's probably safe to assume. That someone found me in the entrance hall where I was standing nervous and disoriented and helped me to this classroom. Which means I'm still inside the academy. But that's true. Something's not right. Something's definitely not right here. The iron plates on the windows it's like have been tossed into a dungeon. I don't get it. What the heck is going on here? Anyway, I guess I should get back and check out the entrance hall again. Okay. So, press the O button to exit the room. Get the fuck out of here. Leave the room? Fuck yeah. Hey, we're in the hallway now. Dope. Even in the hallways kind of creep me out. There are making less sense, less sense. What on earth have I got myself into? Anyways, the entrance hall I go. You can move through the halls using the analog pad. And you can run by holding the circle wall button while moving. Dope. Additionally, while traveling the halls, you can press triangle for a map. Okay. Press triangle button again, and poof, it's gone. How convenient. Okay, so what? I'm trying to see what buttons on my... So I don't have to keep pressing on the fucking thing. Uh... Oh, shit. What does this door do? Oh, the sign says 1A. This is the classroom I just left. It's good to know. Let's go. No, don't, don't do a one... Stop doing a 160. Stop doing a 160. Go straight. No, I said go straight. No, you motherfucker. Go. What does this door do? What does this door do? Science is 1B, but the door won't open. Okay, map. Where am I supposed to go to the gym, right? We're here, and Jim's all. Well, God damn, Jim's all the way in the fuck on the other side of the map. I don't want to look at every room on my way there. Fuck. Uh, I try and go get rid of it. Okay, so we gotta turn around. All the way. And we gotta go this way. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Wait, which way do we go from here? Uh, the straight is to the bear's room. I don't want to go to the bear. Bear's gonna fucking murder me. So we gotta turn left. And go this way. Yeah. Wait, what's this door? The AV room. Uh, science says AV room. The door won't open. Okay, so I guess we can't, we can't really open any of these doors. We might as well just keep going. Right, okay, uh, triangle? Okay, so we go around. Okay, good to know, 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 good to know. What the fuck is in there? No, this way? God damn it, I said turn this way. No, not all the way. That way. This way, what's in here? It is dark as fuck. Do I really want to go in? Do I really want to go in? It's dark as fuck in there. When I returned to the entrance hall, I discovered I was no longer alone. 
Oh, okay, so there's people here. You're new here too. Or you're new here too. And that makes you guys... Yep, we're all new students here at the Academy starting today. That makes 15 in all. Such a nice round number. So these are the super duper high schoolers. I took a careful look around the room, examining the other 14 faces. The, I thought it said races <laughs> gathered here. Would it sound melodramatic if I said I felt like I stepped into a dream? True. All right, so here we have all of them. It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nayagi. Sorry I'm late. I guess I dozed off or something. Huh? Oh, you too? <laughs> hmm, that's rather odd. Mm -hmm. Indeed, indeed. I declare a state of abnormality. Red alert, red alert. Um, um, what? I'm having trouble keeping up here. Hold your horses. That can wait. How could you allow yourself to show up so late? You were told to be here at 8 o'clock sharp. Our first day and you're already committing unspeakable crimes. I will report this atrocity and punishment, shall? Huh? What's your problem? Are you seriously blaming him? <laughs> Never mind that, I got an idea. Why don't we introduce ourselves to our new friend? Huh? You serious? We have more important shit to deal with right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's in everyone's best interest if we lay our cards out on the table before we decide how to play them. True. And it would be quite difficult to effectively discuss our predicament without knowing each other's names. You have a point. Alright, so we introduce ourselves first, then we can talk things over after that. Yeah. Still a bit in darker, but I guess that'll have to wait. Either way, these introductions should be a good opportunity to start putting faces to names and getting to know your new classmates, or my new classmates. And I really know about them was really the new students' academy thread. Okay. I think I'll talk with these five first. Aim the crosshairs of the other student, then press X to initiate conversation. Communicate is the most basic tool available to you for progressing through the game. Do keep it in mind. Alrighty then, well, let's talk to big... Let's talk to... Fancy shirt over here, I guess. I am Kiyotaka Ishimaru. My motive is be true to yourself and live with vigor and fortitude. Let roar the flames of our competitive spirits as we drive another... Okay. Super duper high school prefect, I guess. The new students academy says he thread says he's squeaky clean honor student who is constantly at the top of his class at a famous prep school. While serving on the school's disciplinary committee, he built a considerable reputation for himself. It's a man who values rules above all else, earning his moncure super duper high school prefect. Mm. Your name was Makato Naegi, was that not? <laughs> Be grateful to your parents for christening you with such an upstanding name. Wow. Every day is a battle. You must be diligent to stay true to your name. Hoorah! Life only worth an effort you put into it. Isn't that right? Damn right it is. Something about this guy sets my teeth on edge. Okay, well, talk to him. Let's talk to her. Who are you? A name like mine, you'll just forget it as soon as I tell you anyway. Toku Fukawa. Okay. Super duper high school bookworm. Good to know. She entered the liter li literary spotlight with a novel she wrote at the age of 10. And two years ago, her masterpiece romance novel, While the Scent of Shore Still Lingers, Turned fishermen into a prized commodity among her young female fans. True. Recipient of numerous literary awards, she's published hit after hit and while still attending school. She is none other than the genius girl author, the super duper high school bookworm. Apparently. When I hear romance novelist, I envision a sophisticated, experienced older woman. <laughs> what? Why are you staring at me? Don't look at me like that. Okay, I won't. Don't look at me like that. I'm some sort of filthy. Okay, I'm sorry. Filthy. I, I did it. I don't know what you're thinking. I know. Dying to say, you laugh at yourself. This is the ugliest, foulest child ever lays. I, mm, wow. You can't fool me. It's the truth. Wouldn't be able to bear the sight of my face otherwise. It's okay. I don't mind. I've gotten used to being treated like garbage. Wow. What a crazy perspective to come to talk about an author image. Okay. Well, anyways, let's talk to her. No, I don't want to look at the door. Keep going. There we go. My name is Sayaka Maizano. I look forward to getting to know you better. Super duper high school idol. 
I found myself enchanted by her graceful bow. That's unfamiliar yet pleasant arrogance. I was to say the least surprised when I saw her name in the new student's thread. As lead vocalist in a highly popular girl group, she enjoys a great deal of fame nationwide. She's such high demand. Seems like every magazine TV show wants a piece of the idol. Primary reason I was so surprised to find out she was coming here is something I doubt she remembers. The more I look at her, the prettier she seems. And that skin, she looks like a doll. Wow. Not a doll. I'm very much alive. What, you heard that? Of course, I'm an S. Oh, God. Huh? I'm kidding, I just had a feeling, that's all. Something seriously impressive. <laughs> Intuition. Oh, hey, are you? Am I? You are, I knew it, I just knew it. Do what? You're the same Nagi from... Hey, wrap it up, you two. We're not gonna spend our entire first day on introductions. I'm sorry, I just... An introduction simply entails introducing oneself. It does not mean you get to chit-chat. <laughs> yes, sir. Sorry, Nagi. We'll talk later. Sounds like she had something to say. I guess it's not... Okay. Well, okay, let's talk to what's-his-face next. Red hair guy. No, not you. I said red hair. Get to the red hair. Thank you. Alright. Yo, Leon Kuwata's the name. What up, brada? <laughs> Super Nuber High School All-Star. Leon Kuwata. Playing as both ace pitcher and the cleanup hitter. Okay, so he has longer hair now. Led his high school baseball team to victory and championship tournament. Is that the, okay, I, don't, I already read all this. What? That's you? Uh huh? What you talking about? I don't mean to sound surprised. Just I was kind of expecting you to be a little more. I don't know. What were you expecting? The Pillsbury freaking Doughboy? <laughs> more like Tony the Tiger. True. I mean, I guess I imagined you to look more like a stereotypical baseball player or something. That's how you look in all the pictures and articles I've seen about you. Yeah. Yikes, man. You saw my baseball pictures? Serious? You saw those crusty old things? <laughs> this sucks. This freaking sucks, man. I'm all kinds of embarrassed. Give me a break. Those were attorney rules. I had no choice but to shave it all. Oh, wow. But I ain't never cutting my hair again. I ain't going to my old color either. Okay? So, hey, let me tell you a little something. I don't like baseball one damn bit. Truth is, I ain't even gonna practice once. Wow. So teams carrying ace never practice once. I guess that's what you call a prodigy, huh? <laughs> Point being, I came here to quit. I got a real dream, man. A real dream. <laughs> I'm gonna be a musician, obviously. Can't you tell my rock star aura? I got vocals covered. I just need some kick-ass musicians and songwriters, and I'm set. <laughs> man, look at me chasing down my dreams and shit. I'm one freaking extreme badass. An athlete in his prime, saying that shatter the heart of little leaguers all over the world. True. Alright, so we have a baseball player who wants to be a musician. True. And let's talk to this guy now. Alright. I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. You might also know me as Hifumi Yamada, and I don't mind if you use my other name. What's your other name? Super Duper High School Otaku. By the by the by, by the by, you might be familiar with the allure of two-dimensional world master Makato Naegi. No. Two-dimensional what now? <laughs> As a supervised high school talker, my name is quite well known in the industry. Mm -hmm. Even today, legends speak it that the time I sold 10,000 doujinshi at school. I don't know. And I did it despite accusations of defiling the festival, my arrogance, and cultured peers. I feel sorry for his classmates, but still, 10,000 copies is a lot for school events. But let us forget about those fools, as Van Gogh can attest certain genius goes unrecognized in life. I'm a warrior battling day and night to crush the notion of, I don't know, <laughs> I don't like reading. I am certain if you saw my work, Master Makato Naegi, you would understand straight away. But those are the tales in which you take a profound theme. What kind of theme? Somebody. Crossing over the gender line. What? I don't want to understand either. I got you, homie. All right, so we have five more people. Shit. So it's but well, there's 15 total, so it's five at a time. Five at a time. All right, so I guess we'll go live left to right again. So we'll start with her. Get 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 to her. Get to her. Damn it. There we go. 